I'm just no good at this. That's probably a statement we've all said or thought at least once in our life. It may have happened while playing a sport for the first time, trying to master a home improvement skill, or even while struggling to beat a level in a video game. Whoever we are, and whatever the context, everyone occasionally doubts their ability to perform a particular task or skill. In those moments, we lack a positive self-efficacy. Self-efficacy is an individual's perception of his or her capabilities to perform at an expected level and achieve specific goals. Academic self-efficacy refers specifically to a student's confidence in his or her ability to perform specific academic tasks. Self-efficacy influences motivation, learning, and achievement. It helps students to be more engaged in learning, to work harder and persist longer when they encounter difficulties. In addition to predicting academic achievement, self-efficacy is also associated with positive post-school outcomes, including taking on challenging career choices. To support students' self-efficacy, there are two essential components we must teach. First, focus on your effort, progress, and learning. While some individuals may have natural skills in a certain area, students often don't understand that abilities, and particularly intelligence, can be built over time through deliberate practice and effort. The second essential component of self-efficacy is taking steps to increase confidence in one's abilities. Success at a goal or task, especially one that is challenging, signals to the student that he or she is becoming more skilled. This leads to improved performance, reinforcing positive mindsets. As a result of success, students are more likely to take on more challenging tasks in the future. They are also more likely to persist at these tasks despite setbacks. This self-reinforcing cycle of self-efficacy means it's incredibly important for teachers to intervene early to counter negative mindsets. As educators, there are ways in which we can support students' development of self-efficacy. First, there are certain instructional practices that research has shown positively impact students' self-efficacy, such as acknowledging effort and having high expectations of all students. Framing ability as something that students can acquire helps students focus on their effort, progress, and learning. Teachers can promote self-efficacy by explicitly sharing information on the physiology of the brain, including how learning forms and strengthens neuropathways. Teachers can promote mistakes as necessary in the learning process and encourage students to compare their abilities to their own progress rather than to the ability of their peers. Students can take steps to increase confidence in their abilities through strategies such as reflecting on past successes, watching others overcome barriers to success, reframing negative thoughts, and addressing physiological signals through movement and mindfulness. Specific feedback from a teacher that is focused on the student's progress toward a goal and the effort the student has made also reinforces positive self-efficacy. Supporting students' development of self-efficacy promotes positive cycles of perseverance and achievement and encourages students to take on challenges. Self-efficacy will benefit them while they are in high school, but also as they navigate college or start and advance in a career.